Hello everybody, I just got back from watching Ghost in the Shell. Well, this is actually my first ever movie review of any, well, I had a few before, but this is my first ever documented movie review. So, what did I think about Ghost in the Shell? For one thing, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Did I, did I think it was like the greatest thing ever invented? No. But, I don't, it felt like they were trying too much to paint homage at certain times. Like, they were afraid to push, like, push past everything that like being original I, I i know so many people are thinking about like all oh, the whole like hollywood industry whitewashing well i know what i have to say to that shut the fuck up already i i don't care i don't care that they gave it to scarlett johansson why not scarlett johansson is a great actress she is very very beautiful i feel like they were bringing star power to the movie which sometimes some movies do need you don't want to end up like dragon ball z evolution and that was a piece of shit all around i'm, I'm really just getting back from the movie theater literally an hour ago i just watched the movie and i have to say some of the things were very very great i love the visuals in this but this thing was relying too much on the visuals like the lack of story was very blatant that you can see that they were just filling time with scenery and that's not the greatest thing to do. Everything kind of falls flat. Stare at this pretty picture. But trying to make sense of what is really going on didn't really happen right away. The only thing I hope, I hope this movie does make a lot of money. I do hope this movie makes a lot of money because there's a lot of great anime out there that should be adapted into live action. And I'm not talking about like Attack on Titan. Oh my God. Japan did something terrible that day when they made Attack on Titan live action. How can I say this? Realistically, it was a fine movie. Were there holes kind of in the movie? Yes. You're, you're kind of left wondering why in the first like 20 minutes of the whole thing. Where they're really like trying to scrape up of what they're trying to do. What these people are. You really don't feel any like character development in the beginning of the film. You're not establishing who you're rooting for. Why is this happening? All right, well, I'm gonna start getting into spoilers because there's really, I can't really say that much about the rest of it without spoiling anything. Well, here we go, spoilers. Well, it's not really spoilers. If anybody's seen the regular movie, I've seen that movie before, it was great. Well, it's really not that much of a spoiler. They kind of like blatantly tell you in the trailer what's going on, which every movie does terribly. The movie kind of did some things right like the opening sequence kind of the movie kept mostly fairly close to the original story where there's this cyber terrorist taking over minds and planting himself so he can manipulate people and get things to what he wants to be done but here's the thing major she was established well for me because i'm i've seen the series before the whole animated series all of it including the movie is that major's established that she's been through war she's a very developed character and this puts it like she was just born like a year ago it literally blatantly says it in the like opening one year later after she comes out of that chamber where she's like getting her skin. And I'm thinking, what the hell did they just do? They literally cut away her history where she meets people from the team that she works with with Section 9 as she builds this grade A assault team. But this throws it all away. But there was one thing that kept throwing me off and I couldn't understand why it was bugging me so much. Her number two, Bato didn't have the robot eyes I was used to. He had circular eyes, which made him stand out very much. And in the series tells you all these people are damaged, that a lot of these synthetic parts that were replaced were due to war. And it seems like they're just throwing that all away. She, she kept having these glitches in her mind, like she was corrupted beforehand and she had to take this drug which is kind of very weird when her body's completely synthetic there's not really a drug to like sedate somebody it's more like a program you would have to implant in your brain but she was taking a drug to suppress her memories because her brain has been scrambled with these new memories these false memories and this drug is like suppressing them it's like overriding every time but she keeps having these glitches like they say where these objects keep popping up then disappearing which i could tell they're trying to forebode 
what was to come. Oh yeah, there was there's there is one other thing that I didn't like is that Major kept walking this weird way where she like robotically turns for doorways. I'm like, I get it, you're synthetic. The movie was great. The whole thing is that this movie for me didn't really begin until like the last 45 minutes of the movie. This guy that tells her that everything she knows is false. That they implanted these memories inside of her, just like him. So she automatically starts to question, and she goes to this apartment complex and meets with this Asian woman. She kind of like pieces together, and so does this lady. They're related. She's her lost daughter that ran away and killed herself, but really didn't. I kind of felt the movie really started from that point forward. Because things started, like, escalating work. She kind of knows who she was. After that, it was just more of a spectacle. This head of this organization for, like, robotics sends a kill order for all of Section 9. Which I thought was, like, a secret assault team group. Kind of, like, that works with the police that are higher than the police, though. But are secretive. It was just they're calling out the kill order. And the team, like, busted into action. They're like, we're not going to get taken out. We're going to take them out. And there were, some, there were some good visuals there. The chief getting shot at, at his car and he takes him out with a revolver. I love that whole scene. I don't know why, I just felt powerful. Towards the end of the movie, it, was, it wasn't it was what I was expecting. I got what I got. Well, that's all I can really say about Ghost in the Shell. Scarlett Johansson. Wow. Still love her. She was great. Waiting at the after credits, hoping they might go into the Laughing Man series kind of thing, because I love everything about the Laughing Man. But I, I don't know. I don't think that would be coming up anytime soon. 